Hey guys, so we have here the key fob for our Honda CRV, and the key fob stopped working, which usually means that the battery inside of here is empty. We have to replace it. So that's what we want to show you here in this video. So the process is very easy. First, we're going to take a look at the back side, and here we find this little black lever here, and this little arrow pointing towards the one direction. So that's what direction we're going to push this lever into, and then we can pull out here the emergency key. And we actually don't need, need any other tools. We're actually going to use this key. And we see here this little slot here in between those little plastic tabs. We're going to slide this key right in here. This may be a little bit difficult, but eventually it's going to fit. Slide this in here. And when you have it in there, then we're going to give the uh, key a little twist. And that will pop off here the back side of the key fob. So this will uh, separate the two parts. And as we are opening this up, then we're already going to see here the old empty original battery. And we can take a look here. This type of the battery is CR2032. That's a very common key for battery. So we're going to find this in any gas station, supermarket, and also online. So I'm going to put a, a link here for you, for an Amazon link for you, down in the uh, comment section. So you can order it there. So now we have to pop this coin cell battery out by just using our fingernail here on the right side comes out really easy and then we are going to prepare our new coin cell battery here and again of type CR2032 so make sure you insert this in the right orientation so the negative side is here the blank side this goes in first and then the positive side is the one with the plus symbol and all the writing on it so now we're going to slide this new coin cell in here in this way by uh, putting it right into this position first and then all we have to do is press on it and it will slide right into position and it should stay this way uh, it shouldn't fall out so make sure you have this right and then we can already reassemble everything we can put the uh, two parts together make sure you have them aligned right and we have to give them a couple of firm pushes here so that the uh, seam is really closed so you can see this here, you hear a couple of uh, clicking sounds and then really make sure that everything is closed. You see here on the back side, I still have a little bit open. So I'm going to press on here a little bit more and then the seam is really nice and tight. And so now we won't have any problem with water intrusion. And then the last step, of course, is put the security or the safety key here, emergency key back in. Make sure that it's really clicked into position as well and that was already it so yeah hope you found this information helpful and if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below